Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wilds coming live to you from Houston, Texas with this inspirational morning talk. Hey, for first time listeners, I'm on on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8.45 a.m. Central Time. That's our time here in Texas, man. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great day today. Hey, today is one of those days, man. I didn't get any message. I didn't get anything up to a look, um, a waiting, going through the Bible reading. Normally he just point out to me what he want me to say, but today until 843, nothing. I was about to send out a message saying, Hey guys, I got nothing today. And then he direct me to Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. This is going to be a simple message today. I guess this is just all he wants me to remind people today. I tell you, I can't force it. I can't come and tell you what I want to say. It's just about what he wants to say. Because you remember in Matthew 10, 5 through 8, Matthew 10, I'm going to return for 5 through 8 when he tells the disciples, when he sent out the 12 disciples. Now let me sing, good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? When he sent out the 12, right? He said, these 12 disciples sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any tongue of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. So you see, he had exactly what message he want them to say. He said, I know you got your own thing that you want to say. But I want you to proclaim this message. The kingdom of God has come near, right? So he had a particular message. So I just say that to say, I... He, he wants me to say what he wants me to say, and I just don't come up here and make up what I want to say. So as I was saying, this morning, I didn't get anything. I didn't get no message. I was just about to send out this, hey, guys, um, you know, I got nothing for today. But then, like I said, he directed me to Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. This is what he wants me to say. And just remind people, Proverbs 3, 5 through 8 is trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. This is a law. This is a law. He said, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. So this is a simple law here. Now he wants me to remind people of. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding, right? You don't want us to lean on our own understanding. Can you remember he's saying there's a way that seems right to us when in the end they can end in death and destruction. So he just wants us to, me to remind people today, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. So he's saying, if you submit to me, if you put... Um, Consult me of what you're doing. Ask me if this is the will for your life. He said, your path is going to be straight. Your path is going to be straight. Because remember he said, he know the plans he has for us. Plans not to harm us. Plans to give us a hope in the future and expect it in. He said, before he knew us, before we were formed in, the mother, in our mother's wombs, he knew us, right? So he's saying, man, I have a will for your life. And if you trust in me, if you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. He's saying just trust because God wants us to depend on him. He wants dependence on him, not us to declare independence and think we're doing everything on our own. He's saying, no, no, no. You, you depend on me. Run your stuff by me. Run your plans by me. I'm going to let you know if it's part of the will for you or not right don't lean on your own understanding if my answer the particular thing what you ask him for is no no trust that i know best what's for you right don't lean on your own understanding run it by me and get my input in it and trust me if you do that your path will be straight right your path will be straight he said do not be wise in your own eyes fear the lord and shun evil Fear the Lord and you shun evil. Don't stop doing all the evil stuff. Then this will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. You say if you fear the Lord and shun evil, bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Somebody who probably 
sick right now need to hear this, right? He's saying, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. So you got to look at your life and see, let me clean up this life. Let me fear him, clean up my life. So this can bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to be live today. This was a quick message. Like I said, I didn't get nothing up to the last minute. He said, just this is all I wanted to say today. Who this is for, I don't know it. This is all I wanted to remind people of Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. I can read it over again. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Somebody going through something right now. He's saying, trust in me. Don't lean on your own understanding. Things is not what it look like. Trust in me. Get my input in it. Don't lean on just what you know. Trust in me. He's saying, all your ways submit to him. So everything you're going to do, run it by him and make sure it's his will for your life. He said, if you do that, he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones, guys. I'm going to leave that there. Who this is for are going to know clearly when they hear it. They're going to know it when they hear it. I don't need to go on too much on it. But trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, guys. Right? Thank you, Lenelli, for checking in. Thank you. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day, guys. But it's going to be quick today. And have a great day. And we'll talk again on Friday. All right. Goodbye.